I can hear Eric absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. It's working, it's working now. I do have a history, guys. No, no you're good. Yeah. I'm passing out. No, no. no. <laughs> All right. No. Yep. Good luck. put that out there. Give me four tests. It's just okay. going to be taking deep breaths in different positions. So one will be just standing up, one will be shaking your head, one will be bending over, just because it simulates different stresses on the mask. So. Okay. First one, we'll just take a deep breath and hold it. Okay? okay. Whenever you're ready. Failed. Oh. <laughs> basically right. just seal it. So okay. what it'll do is you'll always be getting air in and then it has the ability through over here that pushes all that nastiness out. The importance of this test is because if you're going into an atmosphere that is hazardous, you got to make sure with this mask that it fits you completely and you don't get anything inside that mask. So it is positive pressure which means if she got a leak here and it's popped off. When she puts the air pack on, you'll see it'll feel here air blowing out, so it's positive pressure. So really, she's never breathing in any bad atmosphere, any smoke. Um, but means she'll go through her air, her air supply quicker. So what we do is everybody in the fire department, depending on face size, this is how we figure out what mask size is uh, the best for each person. And not just that, but the small leaks that you have. If there's even a small leak and she loses 10 breaths of air from that leak, when you're inside, it could have been the 10 breaths that you found that victim to bring them outside. So, you know, our air bottles that we have, we have our air cylinders over here is 4,500 PSI, but if you start off 300 pounds less, for some people that's 30 breaths, for some people it's 10 breaths, but every breath you lose, that's a chance to save someone or make a difference uh, for other people, so. The initial, initial test that we do, once you put it on, if I suck in while I have it covered, you'll see the mask suck, and when I pull my hand away, you'll actually see the mask pop out, so. So I know I have a good seal. That's one of the checks we do before going into a fire. I feel badass. Huh? I feel badass. I know. It feels cool. <laughs> The next thing that he's gonna do is we have basically, this is a Nomax hood, some call them ninja mask, whatever you'd like to say, all right? He's gonna go and he's gonna put that on. That's gonna protect his outside of his face and his neck. And once we go into a fire, if it's a really hot fire, you will know that you did not put on your hood if you go in there and you start doing this because you'll realize it's hot, so all of that radiant heat is going through your equipment and everything else, all right? So the next thing he has, he has his coat. That's obviously gonna protect his chest, his arms. If you go and you look right here on the outside, this right here, there's a little loop. And the reason what that is gonna do is that's gonna make sure that that other piece of Nomex is gonna protect his wrist. Because if not, some of the older uh, models of these didn't have that, and they would go and they'd slip down, and you could go and burn your wrist, all right? So you have three different layers on this, just so you guys know. On the inside, it's kind of like a sweater when you're in the cold. That's what keeps you warm. Well, in this, this is what actually keeps us cooler. Um, we want that airspace. We don't want a super tight outfit. We want something that gives the, the air movement, gives us that thermal protection. Um, on the inside there, on this part, there's actually a moisture barrier right there. We go and fight fire at 212 degrees, water expands 1700 times, right? So that steam expands, we don't want to burn us. So that's a moisture barrier, it keeps that steam from coming and burning us. And then the outer shell is what protects us from that fire. So three different layers to this gear, that's what's protecting us. Like you said, moisture, vapor barrier, it's gonna go and protect, and then this is our outside moment. So at this point I'll do my, my air pack first, but we'll go over that. Yeah. But once the mask goes on. Just to show you guys just what it looks like from here before we do the air pack. So he goes and he gets those straps and everybody, the more times you do it, you'll know how far you need to pull it, how tight it needs to go. And then he goes and he brings his Nomax hood around. And now you see, if you look on the outside over here, his ears are protected, his neck is protected, and everything else like that, all right? The last thing that we would have outside of the air pack is we'd go and we'd have his helmet that he would go and he'd put on, all right? The helmet is gonna go under your chin, go and wrap, so we have everything that's gonna go and be protected. And you have these air packs that we have over here. This is what is going to connect to your SCBA mask that we have over here. So what we wanna do is we want this to sit on our hips, so we would pull this as tight as we can. 
So now, this is sitting right on my hip. These are still kind of loose. And we have the ability to now, I can pull ceiling, I can go, I can crawl, I can do everything that I want to do. And now this is sitting here just like this. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be simulating getting out of a bit of building following the hose line out back to the truck. So if there was a scenario in which they were left inside by themselves and they heard evacuation tones um, and the evacuation tones means that you need to try to get out of the building as fast as you can. This is what this drill is going to uh, signal. I think they're getting ready for a good sign. We're going to see how we're <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm down. Like, we're about to race. <laughs> I mean, they did pretty good for the first time, so I'm actually a little nervous. If I don't get it under about a minute and 12 seconds, they might fire me, so that's the goal. <laughs> Alright, so the goal for our recruits here right now is they need to beat Lieutenant Gomes. Uh, they're putting on their gear. This is one of the first times they didn't really get the first time, but you know, we're going in, we could be saving a baby uh, family, we're saving property. So this is about speed, it's about technique, it's putting it on right, um, and most importantly, beating Lieutenant Gomes. Alright, Cannon is ready. Ready, Mark? Get set, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, he's gonna you guys. Hands up. Strap. There we go, get your shoulder straps on. We're at 15 seconds. Okay, well, we got on. Oh, shoot! <laughs> at about 153 and uh, we have uh, Lieutenant Gomes and still reigning champ finishing at 123. Oh no, look at right. that. I'm fired, I'm fired. You just made the cut, Lieutenant. I'm fired. Well, what we do is we'll stay in verbal contact and we'll be like, hey, we're good, we're good, we're good. We'll kind of just jump from there, okay? All right, here we go. So, we were able to see for a little bit. We got to a place, now we got nothing, okay? Feel that hose right in front of you. Here we go. 